I'm here today and all I hear is how I'm chasing crazy dreams They'll see cause I've got perfect songs and melodies Just waiting to come out of me and you'll sing along Like oh, oh. fancy words, clever lines and tales that take you back in time And you'll sing along like oh, oh, and they'll know Everyone will know They should have believed in me Should have believed, baby! Hey! <laughs> Welcome to The Spiel. Yes. Okay, look, this show is normally about entertainment. I mean, we want to make you laugh. Sometimes we want to make you cry. We're all crying. I mean, we're it's ridiculous, but we are also here to be informative and to help you. Buyer beware. My life was rocked, you know, recently, shattered almost. And there are a couple of, a couple of uh, uh, ways I want to think about this, okay? What did you buy? A phone and a case, okay? A couple of things. Verizon. Um, I'm gonna, I'm right, right there, right, right there. I'm going, I'm going there. with it. I'm going with it. Yes. Well, there goes Do our a lot of. That's okay. We, we may know it comes full circle. The story has a decent ending. It okay. can never be a happy oh. ending. It has a decent ending. Okay, okay, whip it on me. So I go to Verizon, and um, okay, first of all, I lost my phone. Okay. You lost. When I say lost, it lost. No. Well, no, you had it physically, but everything's fell gone. out of my pocket into a porta potty. That's not good. I don't even think rice will help that. No, it didn't. Was the porta potty? It did. Ooh, porta yuck. potty. I had to sit there and first of all debate was I going to go in after it. Okay? Did you? Julie, I did. I couldn't walk up. But here's the deal. Thank goodness it was a shallow one. It was shallow. Okay, and I only had to stick one. Listen, I know people, but this is the addiction that has become phones and, and my life. And I tell you, okay, so it was. here's the deal. I had a life proof case on. We'll get to that in just a second as well. Did you have a Listen, proof honey, I went in. Case. I went in. I don't even know. Thank goodness. How did you go in? Did totally you, kidding. It was not. Did you go in the hole? Julie, Julie, I listen get the to me. Visual. When I went, I stood up and I went, <gasps> and I knew, and I turned around and it was like the theme music was playing or something. It was like, dun, dun, dun. You know, it's like, dun, what, do, dun, what do you dun. do? And I'm like, <gasps> You know, you freeze because your whole life, I mean, honestly, your phone, I, I know no one's number. Yeah. It's all programmed in. You know, I, I, my kids' pictures, videos, everything's flashing, you know, in my mind. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I did. I went, oh. wait, you, they're usually deep. Oh. I can just see you no, going. No, it was shallow. I just, oh, and I felt it. You felt it? Oh, and I, I, what I else did you feel? I did this and I, I just look and I went out and I'm like, it was on, okay? It's on. The life proof worked. It's great. So I go over to this thing and I'm going to walk, and about that time it starts to flicker, like all the lights, everything. So you know what's happening, like water, poo, whatever. It's penetrating the phone at this point, right? So I go over to this cleaning station and I take the life proof case off and I immediately grab the towels and hope the phone is fine. Phone aside, clean the life case. Um, person I was with is like, I didn't know what happened to you. If that tells you how long I had to debate whether or not I was going to go in after it. So um, anyway, it's done. It's toast. I did run to get the rice. It didn't work. Go to the Verizon store, and you know they tell did you it still it's smell. It's all backed up in the cloud. It's not. No. Why do they tell you that? They did, well, the guy now told me, and he did it for me, but before, apparently someone just forgot to take that step for me. And I had been paying for extra cloud space, too. So none of it was there. I lost it. Here's the deal. If you buy a phone, make sure if you, you have your phone on you now. You don't want to experience what I have experienced. Um, we are way too dependent on our phones. Don't, we are. Don't. It's disgusting. But I would never go into a porta potty. Wyatt said mine. the same thing. My kids said, Mom, never. it would have been there to this day. Yeah. I wouldn't have touched it. But, you know, I, all I could think about was everything that was in there. But anyway, make I sure. I got a that, question. Okay, Real quick. yeah, yeah, yeah. When you felt it go down in there, had I you already feel, done your business? Yeah, I, I'd gone to the bathroom. It was just number one, it was fine. You know, I get up, put my pants back That's on. That's when it fell. And I reached for my phone, and I'm like, First of all, never put your in the back pocket. That's, I know. That's not good. I know. It's, it's not, not good. good. And it must have just flipped off in there. And so I'm anyway. Like, wow. So anyway, I go to Verizon. Here's the, here's the lesson to be learned. Make sure that you are backed up to this cloud. It's a wonderful thing where if anything happens to your phone, 
They can pull it all down and it'll be like you never even had anything happen to your phone. I didn't sleep for two days. I was sick as a dog in the fetal position in a corner. I was devastated. <laughs> a little fun with the mouth? Didn't know how to reach it. I couldn't call you. Didn't know how to I reach anybody. I wonder what happened. I know. So, what are we doing? We Buyer beware. Be oh, and life proof? Um, I bought two because, you know, they claim you can even snorkel, scuba dive with a life proof. Not the first time it hit a porta potty, it was toast. Well, you're not supposed to snorkel in a porta potty. <laughs> <laughs> Duly noted. Uh, but anyway, wrote him a little letter, hadn't heard anything back, and um, you know, you go to social media with these things. Again, not to bash companies, because I work for a marketing group, Growing Media. We encourage you to come back and say, look, you know, our apologies, here's what could have happened, it could have malfunctioned, anything. You just wanted to let the people know. Just wanted to let them know. Don't let it fall in the porta potty. Don't do that. Okay. And, and if you have a life proof, you need to make sure you, you call them or verify or, or whatever because um, I personally would not go in, in, in the water now with well, even a light proof on. Oh, I start to say I don't, I don't have mine. Well, the 7 is waterproof. Is I this? Guess. They're saying now that the oh, 7 is waterproof. On to its begin. own? Oh, yeah. But what about yeah. this? Is and this I bought the light proof like a dummy. No, that's an otter case. Is that good or bad? I don't think we'll you can see go at the next water. fair. Yeah, <laughs> you'll see. <laughs> so, see. where are we? we do we get a new phone? I got a new phone, again, an awful, okay, but the new Verizon guy, Kyle, at the Marion Verizon, Marion, Illinois, great, remarkable young man, spent like, first of all, he had to just calm me down so I could speak, you yeah. know, I couldn't talk, and he's like, honey, well, it'll be okay, it'll be all right, uh -huh. you know, and he even helped me, I couldn't dial the phone, I acted like I couldn't do anything on my own, and he just pretty much did it for me, so. I'm back up, but um, I'm using contacts from uh, 2015. Yeah. I, I, it's like two years, it just never happened for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Great videos well, of Everybody your kid. laughs. You know, there is nothing funny about that story. Do you even know half the people that's from there? No. That's no. sad. That's so if we're friends, if we've become friends in the last two years and I might have had your number, you may want to resend it. Because I don't have it anymore. There you wow. go. I know. Wow. It's devastating, but uh, there's a couple of lessons to be learned. Know what you're buying, make sure your product's backed up. Uh, you're going to the cloud and um, don't put your phone in your back don't pocket. put your phone in your back and try to like at start, the fair start this year. working on it like like leave it at home on purpose and see if you can live without it because the moment whew, do you think that if you'd have dropped it in your home and got it out real quick home toilet it would have been okay or is it just I'll never know yeah, Julie deep, I'll it? never know <laughs> it was bad did it smell it was just bad. Was it blue? Was it blue? No. Yeah, they put those blue tablets in those things. Was it blue? It was, was your hand blue? I used my finger. I did like a little finger scoop right there. Right there. It was really brown. <laughs> a lot of brown. We better go to the show. Yeah, we, I, we promise you, it, it gets better. Stink. It gets a lot. Yeah, it won't stink. We'll be right back. Coming up on the spiel. With all of the neglect and abuse, she was totally, totally shut down. When I got her, she was a third underweight, and she would avoid any interaction at all. Wow. You think that it's your culinary genius when you're 18 years old, you're on your own, you take ramen and you put some crushed red pepper in it, and you also learn that imitation bacon bits will expand <laughs> in the water, you're like, there's meat in there. At the Bank of Heron, we know that between family and work, it can be a challenge to find the time to take care of things like going to the bank. And really, what you need is a way to do your banking on the go. Well, we've got good news. With the Bank of Heron mobile banking app, you can manage debit cards, find bank locations, monitor account activity, even make a deposit. Just a few of the ways our mobile banking app can save you a trip to the bank. We'd love for you to come see us, but now you don't have to. The Bank of Heron. It's not just a bank, it's mobile banking. If you live in Southern Illinois, you drive around, you're probably going to go buy one of our buildings or know somebody that has a building that we have put up. It's only limited by one's imagination. You can build pretty much anything with post frame building. They're economical and sturdy. It's going to last a long time. We try to work hard, get the job done, buy efficiently to keep the cost as, as low as possible for our customers. We have a website, newcomconstruction.com. At the end of the day, I, I have to be satisfied with the work we do. You're watching The Spiel. Hi, welcome back to The Spiel. Today we have two very special guests. It's Rebecca Whittington and her dog, Lily. 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 You know, these are the type of stories that inspire people. Number one, we can't stand it when we hear that an animal has been mistreated. Um, you know 
that to be uh, oh. the case, oh. and that animals oh. are mistreated. And you know what it takes to bring them back from the brink of just... Yes, yes. Wow. Talk about that. She was a puppy mill mother. Okay. The neighbors were very offended at the way the animals were being treated, but they met minimum standards. So it was like they couldn't get anything done. Yeah. She delivered her puppies and obviously wasn't feeding them. Right. And the neighbors were upset. Went to her owner who said, oh, it was a false pregnancy. Don't worry about it. They knew better. Mm -hmm. huh. Finally used that to be able to get in, rescue her. They found the puppies, put them with another nursing dog. And um, she got into the rescue channels, which are pretty phenomenal because it's really just a lot of networking. Right. right. And um, with all of the neglect and abuse, she was totally, totally shut down. Hmm. When I got her, she was a third underweight she had big patches of hair out, and she would walk around. She would have gotten behind you guys yeah. to, and, uh, to avoid any interaction at all. Wow. She wouldn't even look at you, you said, and then now she right. looks right at you, you know, right. when, you, when you make any gesture. When you say she shut, shut down, obviously, um, you know, a puppy mill, um, we've seen images, you know. It's, oh. it's truly where they just are taking these animals and they want them to reproduce and they're just making more money and more money. And, and sometimes those people, I think it becomes a bit of an addiction where you just see them stacked yes. on crates and, yes. you know, um, it, it's obviously not run the right way. But you said she wasn't even feeding the puppies, which means she was done even during the time they were using her. Right, obviously. right. Wow. And, and what happens is so often when they get to the point that they're done with the animal, they, they consider them livestock and they'll either do something pretty horrible to them or they'll take them to auctions or they'll just dump them. Um, oh, they have pure breed auctions like that? And they just oh, to get... yes. Mm -hmm. And it's so Look. sad yeah. because they will go in and there'll be other people there to bid thinking maybe I can get one more litter not caring about putting any money yeah. into the animal. Just, yeah. I can get one more litter. Yeah. For a hundred bucks, I'll take that dog. You know, when she came in here, she was in uh, unfamiliar territory mm -hmm. and she kind of wanted to hide. How long did it take when she came to live with you for her to kind of get comfortable mm -hmm. with you? Months, if not a couple of years. Wow. I took her to work with me every day mm -hmm. and had her inter interacting with people and the f I thought her voice box had been removed because she wouldn't bark her tail she kept cupped under her Aww. till finally this is so funny I'm driving home I stop at the stoplight and a UPS truck goes by and she gets up out of the back seat is barking at it as it goes around the UPS truck and I then do she, the same that, thing. And then she, I'm like, I'm like <laughs> and she settled back down. I'm like, okay, well, there's a dog in there somewhere. Wow. And um, I got a phone call the day before Thanksgiving. There was a five-year-old puppy mill mother who had been adopted once, and then the man who had adopted her had been found dead. And they needed a place for her, so I drove and got her and brought her home mm -hmm. the night before Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And I woke up to put the turkey on, you know how we get up so early? <laughs> oh, yeah. I woke up and the two of them were just yin and yang, cupped together, taking up most of my bed, I have to admit. Wow. And that's when she started to come out of she it. She really, that, okay, she needed that, that I mean, you were her human companion. She was she learning needed. to trust you, but then all of a sudden having that, mm -hmm. that mate. There, right. You know. What right. is her mate's name? Well, it's Sabrina. I lost Sabrina to bloat. Mm. you know like the Marley movie um, but Sabrina and Lily I have so many photos of where they're just hugging each other it's like they were just kindred spirits yeah. Yeah. So, that, so does she have anyone now um, she has become the mama to my late mother's little dogs I have taken oh, them in yeah. what kind of a dog is that one uh, one is one we picked up out of the middle of the road, and I'm not really sure what it is, but I think it's mostly Maltese. Okay. But they're buds now. They're, oh, oh yeah. 
We've got some pictures and, and such, and she obviously plays well with others. You know what? She's she's modeling right oh, yeah. now. Oh, she yes. knows the camera's on her. She's tired. I mean, she's been outside waiting. Yeah. I mean, have you ever been in a TV <laughs> studio? It's just tired. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. But she's she's watching the good-looking guys, you see. Oh, is she? Yes. yes. I do that, she's too. Loaded. It's nice. You do. Julie's always laying on the rug looking at Jason. Like, <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, with a, with a legal background and um, to take this story in, in, a, in another turn, there are certain things people need to watch out for. Sure, you may want a certain type of animal or, you know, to complete your family in a certain way. What are those things that people should look for to know that it's a, a credible source and that they're doing the right thing? First of all, no quick sale. If it's a quick sale, whether it's on Craigslist or any social media, run as fast as you can. Okay. Not only is it probably not good for the animal, but you're probably going to get an animal that is much more likely to have health issues, either genetic issues or just neglect issues, okay. even from puppy stage. Okay. The second thing is uh, figure out what age of animal you want. There are so many adults that may just be two years old that still have a lot of life in them that are past that rebellious puppy stage that might be a much better fit. Okay. And the next thing is take a look at, at what other animals or people are in your household and that may kind of coincide with that second issue of maybe your kids do need to see the responsibility of bringing oh, yes. up a puppy or right. maybe they don't. Right. Maybe right. you need an older, more uh, calm dog with little kids. Yeah. Yeah. What's the life expectancy of a poodle? Well, the bigger they are, the shorter it is. Mm -hmm. And she is almost 13. And she's, you know, kind of at the top end. Mm -hmm. um, 12 to 14 is what I have been told. Mm -hmm. And with her history of neglect early on, um, you know, they, theoretically it's supposed to take away from it. And I'm sure hoping it doesn't. Well, we know what you've done for Lily. What has she done for you? Oh, she is my heart dog. And I have to say, not only for me, but I took care of my mother as she was dying the last several months of her life. She was, well, for many years, she was in my home. And mother was spry. She was all of 90 pounds and wow. 93 years old. And I tell you what, that finger of hers was in charge. But as she just kind of withered, yeah. Lily and Sabrina both just became the caregivers, oh. the nurturers. Oh. They would even get up in bed with her on either side, like she was a hot dog in a bun, and keep her warm. Oh. Yeah. I had brain surgery uh, a little over a year ago. She would not leave my side. It was like Velcro. It's like static cling. It's like get get away, and she wouldn't leave my side. You know, it's finally like someone loves me. I'm not getting away from that. Yeah. And I take her to work, and she just instinctively, if there's a client who's upset or crying, she'll go over just like she did with you before we started filming, and just kind of cozy up, oh. or lay on your feet, or come up and lay lay her head on your thigh you know what that does for me is just it melts me mm -hmm. you know awesome. on a sad note i just lost my dog oh. last week mm -hmm. of 11 years and oh. i just loved him more than half my family i mean they become oh. i'm so sorry if you're watching seriously family members. oh i they just are, you know i yeah that's it makes me our house has been Horrible. There are fur kids. Yeah, they, they are. are there kids. are fur kids. Great way, to say it. great way to say it. Well, you know what? <clears throat> We've learned today that it, it's magical, really, yes. but you want to make sure that you're ready. You want to make sure you're the prepared. Fit. A, a fit and that everybody in your household is going to be able to handle that responsibility. But thank you so much for sharing oh, your story. Thank it's you. Such a, such a nice nice inspiration. See you again. And we'll be right back. Thanks. Coming up on the Spiel. We're going to do some soy sauce, okay. and so right here, this may be two tablespoons. Um, maybe, we don't maybe. know. Maybe, we don't know. Again, it's 3 a.m., we don't right. know we what don't we're care. doing, we, we don't, don't care. care. But we're hungry. We're happy that we're standing and we're very hungry. So she created this amazing program through Motives Cosmetics, where she gives teen girls the opportunity to own their own Motives Cosmetic website, and these girls earn all of the retail profit that they make from the website. Three Rivers College, affordable, convenient, quality education. I was able to come here for free. 
for two years. And that was a huge thing for me. You know, if I could go to school for free and not have to get out student loans the first several years, that's great. You can do it and we can help. Three Rivers College, success starts here. Maintaining your family wealth and preserving your assets can be one of the most rewarding benefits of your lifetime. The Bank of Heron has the experience and position to help you with estate planning or establishing a trust. The Bank of Heron can even act as an unbiased trustee of your estate. We offer guardianships. We will serve as the executor of your estate. And it can give you the peace of mind that your loved ones will be taken care of the way you see fit. The Bank of Heron. It's not just a trust. It's a relationship. You're watching The Spiel. And we are spieling it in our Southside Lumber Kitchen, brought to you by Prairie Farms. And we have um, a recurring now. He will be a recurring guest. He will be singing, tap dancing, cooking, mixing drinks. Derek, cook everybody. Hey. Yeah, what you think? Now you do your intro on it. What, can you beat it? <laughs> I up. thought you were gonna do like this. I know, I know, some I know. great sponsors, I, I and stop. I had him. I and couldn't then, stop. Here, I'll just sit back here. I'm excited. You, you look good. <laughs> you you look good up there. You look good. So, what do you think? Are you happy to see him back? I'm happy. You know what? He he always brings back artistry. Yeah. He's an artist. I mean, he the is. artist of the Bloody Mary, the artistry of Raymond Noodles, the yeah. artistry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you say it? Raymond ramen. or ramen? Ramen. It's ramen. It's ramen. Yeah. Or ramen. Yeah. You know, whatever. You know, it's, it's, Back it's, there in Rome. Southern Illinois people, uh, they call it Raymond's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what we eat. Raymond's our house. noodles. This guy named Raymond was <laughs> yeah. running around. Raymond. Around. But you it's, know, it's ramen. Yeah. We talked about how um, for a long time it was like a college food or, you know, when it's what, a nickel or 10 cents, 15 cents, everybody's yeah. like, yeah, get these noodles. Yeah. But now you're right. You're seeing yeah. these restaurants pop up and you know in other cultures they take their noodles very seriously and you're supposed to eat them a certain way dress them a certain way they do them. they do I mean you know when, when you're a kid and you 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 think that it's your culinary genius when you're 18 years old you're on your own you take ramen and you put some crushed red pepper in it and you also learn that imitation bacon bits will expand <laughs> in the water you're like there's meat in there <laughs> but these noodle shops noodles are a big thing you know and it's it's an import from the Asian culture yes yes and they do take their uh, ramen very seriously their noodles very seriously. There are different types of noodles over there. Um, when they do their stock and their broth, they're they're doing bone broth with chicken or pork. Sure. Yeah, and great. so they're adding different seasonings. And when you go to, we, we just heard there's noodle shops in Champagne. You go yeah. to L.A., Chicago, New York. You know, I like to visit certain places in Chinatown and Chicago. Sure. Great noodle shops. Or these great ramen stuff. But. You can do this, the same thing at home with the stuff that you buy at your grocery store. Well, I see one yeah. thing wrong yeah. real quick. What? What's, What's one wrong? thing? When I get my little package of Raymond's and I <laughs> break them up, there's a little seasoning pack. There what, is. What, where's, where's that? There is. Okay. You know what? I don't want you to waste those. So, I, you know, we're going to do four portions. Okay. And just for the hay of it, you may not have everything we have here. So we are going to utilize this too. Okay. We are going to do that. But mm -hmm. I never thought about doing like chicken stock. Well, why that. not? Sure. That's, smart. That's I mean, great. Very smart. There's, you probably have certain things in your fridge at home. Yeah. And one of those is probably chicken stock. I mean, I would encourage everybody to have chicken stock on hand for doing a multitude of things in the sure. kitchen. Sure. Even if you want to make it on your own, low sodium, whatever you want to buy, cheap, expensive, but got chicken stock here. And you know, we've got garlic powder, onion powder, ginger, mm -hmm. some of the veggies. We've got carrots and celery and green onions. So these are things that probably you'd have in your fridge. Yeah. Well, Derek has a job where he, he works late, like long hours, and he never knows who's coming over, you know. So when he posted on Instagram, um, you know, when you don't really have anything else to serve your guests, and he comes out with these bowls that are decorated with all, first of all, like everything is sliced perfectly, same size, same, same, you know, with everything. Um, I'm like, wow. I mean, why don't I have friends like that that I hang out with? You know? <laughs> like, I bet he has normal tons. people are asleep at three a.m. Exactly. That's you know. Exactly. So this is what you do, though. Yeah. So this is not okay. So we're gonna go through the process, you okay. say, and then we're gonna show people the variations and how something that doesn't cost a lot can look like it. Yeah, it absolutely. Is, is and so tastes good. And yeah. it tastes great. And they're gonna go, yeah. wow! I never thought this possible. Right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna boil the noodles, but the noodles are the quickest thing. The noodles take probably about a minute or less. That's the last thing that we do. Okay. So when you got your spice cab in front of you and you bring out some things from the fridge and you quickly dice up some of these veggies, you're gonna make your stock, okay, okay. your soup base. Okay. And once that's kind of like warming, warming up, 
you're kind of done. You drop the noodles, you strain the noodles, and then you plate it. Okay. It's, it's a very quick Remember, thing. Remember, drop and strain. Drop and strain. Stop, drop, and strain. Stop, drop, and strain. You, you, stop, and so, strain. you gotta figure out how your guests want them served. So All right. So let's go ahead and we start okay. with our broth. And since I've got four portions, you know, late at night, you're not measuring things. It's a dash of this and a dash of that. And so that's how we're treating this, okay? A dash of this and a dash of that. But with okay. four portions, we are gonna do four cups of chicken stock. Okay. Okay. And so that's gonna heat up very quickly. Mm. And so let's this move. This is your own chicken let's, stock? Uh, no, that is store bought. So let's let's move on. And so we're gonna do <laughs> <laughs> you and chicken stock that's loaned right. in the lights that's on a Friday right. night. Dude. We're gonna do some. Uh, we're gonna do some ginger. Ginger. So we're gonna do some garlic powder. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're gonna do some onion powder. Is that essentially what is in those packets? Maybe you're just yeah, some salt and pepper. But okay. you know, in the packets are gonna be a whole lot of other things. Okay. That, probably we shouldn't be putting in our bodies. We're gonna do some that. soy sauce. Okay. And so right here, this may be two tablespoons. Um, maybe, we don't maybe. know. Maybe, we don't know. Again, it's 3 a.m. We don't right. know we what don't we're care. doing. We, we don't, don't care. care. But we're hungry. We're happy that we're standing and we're very hungry. Uh -huh. And the line around some of the 24 hour fast food joints was too long. Too sure. Long. You know what, we've got ramen at home. Let's go Let's do Let's go that. to Derek's house. Now, this is, a, this is a, uh, an Asian chili paste. All right, so this is just a little bit of heat. All right. So, and then we're also gonna use some sesame oil. Um, oh, a lot of the ramen places will actually just toss their, their right, noodles right. in sesame oil. By no way, no shape or form do I know how these places do what they do and that's why they're masters. Remember, we're up at 3 a.m. and we're right. hungry. Right. We've been digging through the cabinets. So. Right. All right, so we're gonna do probably about um, a teaspoon of that. All right, let's go ahead and drop these noodles. Okay. Don't let this water splash on you. Get back, get back. Okay. Okay. There you go. Don't, mm -hmm, don't, mm -hmm, don't, mm -hmm, don't. Mm -hmm. That's what I would be doing. You're good. This is coming up, and uh. that will be a very, very quick thing. And I'll turn around and strain them in the sink in just a moment. As soon as you start to see them breaking up, okay. like, like how you're kind of doing that, if you start, start seeing them breaking up, then we know that they're really done. You don't okay. want your noodles to be overcooked. You don't want to overdo? Smushy. You want a certain firmness to them. You do I like guess we would al call that al dente. Al dente. Al dente. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You know, that's the thing. Okay. We all get lazy and we want to go out and we want things that are easy and we want to call people to deliver. But if you search in your kitchen, sometimes you do have pretty cool stuff in there. That make and especially yeah. if it's the end of the week and you haven't got paid yet. Yeah. It's pretty <laughs> I would say this is probably around 10 minutes of prep possibly because we do have soft boiled eggs, you know, a good five minutes, your phone right. timer, soft boiled. Um, the shrimp, a cold water thaw. We're going to do some pork loin. That's not something that you're going to have readily available, but I did want to kind of give you that experience. Or okay. shrimp. So, all right, you so that's good? good. So that's good. And we're going to strain that. And this is okay. a very quick plate. Okay. Don't you get excited when things I'm are being excited. prepared? I'm excited. And are your friends at this point looking over to make sure that you divvy it up? My friends really at this point knew that I was banging around in the kitchen. They had no idea what was going on. So <laughs> then they're like, oh my God. But they knew they on? came to the right house. Yes. Yeah, well, I, I, I get that a lot. You know, 3 a.m. they're knocking on the door. That's hey, right. can you feed us? So, all right, so we've got that. And we are just going to put some broth on these. Ah, oh, okay. so you're... And look, he even has the chopsticks that we're gonna do. Look at that. I've never it's had the my rainbows with chopsticks. It's the utensils, babe. It's everything. You gotta have the whole experience. So like I said, um, you know, a cup of broth per, and who's measuring? Between friends, who's measuring? Wait till you so see some of these we've got So we've got some green onions here, yes. Yes. diagonally sliced. And the, the, the neat thing about this is that you want your guests to discover each little uh, corner, corner of, of, the world. Of, the, of the ramen. Yeah, of the ramen. And so they're going to mix all this together, but that lets them um, be a part of the whole process. Well, Here's some heat, you know, some jalapeno. This is some freshly sliced jalapeno. And again, you're just working great. the corners. All right. Um, I did a light saute on my julienne carrots and um, celery just because I like them to be tender, but that's not something that you have to do. Nice. Okay. Nice. Ramen dishes are so unique and varied when you go to these ramen shops. We're kind of doing this yes. poor man's version, throwing everything in there because we're hungry at 3 a.m. But they take a lot, I mean, to them, there's this bowl is different than this bowl. This, yes. this bowl is different. Yes. And they have bamboo shoots and crunchy onions and all yes. different types of things. And yes. the broth is different. So they probably look at this and laugh, but we're looking at this and we're hungry. Yeah. 
Okay, so the one, of the, one of the last things that we're doing is doing the soft boiled eggs because okay. it, it can get messy. It's soft boiled. I'm gonna just go ahead and cut that in half there. And we want that yolk to oh, ooey gooey. Yes. Okay. We want that just to be ooey mm. and gooey. I've not found a nice way to do this. It's always messy. Nope. Oh. Egg down. That's Egg Angie's. down. Egg down. <laughs> There's Angie's. Egg down. I love it. And they will marinate their eggs, I guess you could say, in a, in a type of soy sauce. It's oh, a I soy sauce and tea. It's, it's, it's like a soy tea egg. These are green onions that are just um, cut lengthwise several times. <gasps> How does that look, Julie? That's yours really is beautiful. Nice. Are you impressed? Yours is awesome. Can I do one like yours? That is awesome, kinda yes. Like, kind of like that. And then the now, last thing you're going to do is you're going to garnish with some sesame okay. seeds. Because now when it looks this good, it's tough to stay away. You know, now it's like... Now, that broth was hot. Some of these items may have cooled in the process. So what you want to do is you want to get in there and you want to mix everything up in the broth. We should take a picture, though. You have to there you go. Food. Where's our picture? Where's our camera? Do we have one? First, let's take a picture of everything okay, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. All right, and we'll do a little okay. on TV selfie with our ramen. Hey. See, that's so Awesome. Good. All right, mix that up. Stir that up. Get some of that heat going there. Okay. I'm so excited. I don't know how to use these. I just don't know how. Well, there, there, there's a, sp you can do a spoon. <laughs> oh my. There's a spoon. Hmm. I'm gonna toss mine like a salad. Again, I would love to share with you at home, but since I can't, you know. Mm. And you're supposed to slurp. I mean, this is, this is all about, you wanna get that egg yolk going. How do you eat it? It's that steaming. Is, babe, I know, you, listen. Mm. You know what? You can come back anytime. And actually, we're thinking what this about This is the prerequisite. I said, make noodles. Mmm. Mmm. Are you done playing? Thank you. We appreciate you. You're welcome. Okay. Thanks for having me. All right, we'll be right back. Coming up on the spiel. You have some bilberry extract, some wine, red wine extract. Um, there's biotin in here, which as we know is good for our skin, hair, and nails. Sure. So it has a little bit of everything. And dip, let me lay it on your lips. A sweet little moonlight kiss, girl. We got all night, so let's take a time. In Southern Illinois, we may see people who haven't been to see a primary care provider in 10 years. We just know that if they need us, we should be a resource for sure. them and that they are not discriminated against regardless of whether they can pay or they can't pay. We take care of everybody. We care for all patients regardless of their ability to pay. We don't fire patients because they can't pay their bills. Find us on crhpc.org. I'd like to buy the family's gas on two. Yeah! Okay. I'd like to pay for this family's meal. Okay. We're so blessed in this country. I would encourage all of you to pay it forward and let that random act of kindness define us as a nation. Farmer State Bank, no one serves you better. You're watching The Spiel. Welcome back to The Spiel. Today we're joined on the step by Amy Serberg and Jamie Summers, and we've got cocktails. You know we do. I always get excited when I see these kind of glasses come out. First of all, do, do people even recognize us on the show? I wonder, because when you have new makeup people, and well, I mean, we just, everything looks different. That's what's real cool, because we yeah. usually have a makeup artist here yeah. well, that goes many places and yeah. does folks. This is teen artistry. That's right. This is awesome. That's right. This is this is what the future looks like right yes. here. So embrace it. But Amy, listen, sometimes you know what people need to realize, it's very easy to paint something up and, and make it look good. But we need to start on the inside. We need to take care of what we're, you know, putting into our bodies, take that into account. So we do take care of, of what's on the outside. So our products here, this is what we call a cocktail. It has both our OPC Beauty Blend, which is an antioxidant, as well as our aloe. Um, we've mixed it together. So the antioxidant is very good at helping with our skin, keeping a good skin tone, keeping healthy skin cells, helping with the blood and the capillaries that go to the skin. And then the aloe is really good for our digestive tract. So it's good just to keep us feeling good and. Um, uh, not having any kind of stomach upsets. And just the benefits outweigh anything. You, you don't have to call it a cocktail so women will drink it. You just, no, you just, you can just yep. 
Oh, here's to you and here's to me. Never mind. I will just say the rest of it. Did I change? I would order this. Do I look differently? Order this at the nearest establishment. This is good. The most important thing to know is that this product it absorbs in about five minutes. And so you're going to start getting benefits almost immediately. Hang on, do I just shoot it? <laughs> <laughs> so it's isotonic, which means it's the same chemistry as our blood, which allows it then to get absorbed in about five minutes, and it's about 95% absorbed. See a change? It's, I mean, it's a lot. You can tell there are a lot of components yes, in there. there are. You but have, it's good, though. Yeah, yeah you have pycnogenol, which is good, um, the best antioxidant out there. You have some bilberry extract, some wine, red wine extract. Um, there's biotin in here, which, as we know, is good for our skin, hair, and nails. Sure. So it has a little bit of everything. Where can um, ladies or men, I guess this is fair game for anybody, right? Yes. Okay. Um, my get that? website would be at isotonics.com forward slash Amy Serberg. Um, if you go there, then you can um, look at all of these products, um, and they could reach me okay. uh, through Gosh. that website. You know, most of these concoctions that these health people do sure. They're not good. But I right. could take another. Yeah. 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 Well, <laughs> hook me up, bartender. You know, I did like the fact that you truly did yours in like a shot. It took me <laughs> well, two or three Well, I wanted some things working. I yeah. wanted to get it going. Right. Well, these ladies over here are, are busy. And I'm going to let you tell us a little bit about the teen program as we're, you know, just getting some shots and seeing what they're doing over there. So take Great. it away. Great. Well, Motives Cosmetics, which uh, was started by Lauren Reidinger, mm -hmm. um, has created, Lauren Reidinger was amazing. She was brilliant in creating this program for mm -hmm. these girls. I think that she understands now that the pendulum is sort of swinging um, to the this younger generation being the trendsetters. Sure. Uh, and we are looking towards them on what to wear and makeup. Uh, so she created this amazing program through Motives Cosmetics where she gives teen girls the opportunity to own their own Motives Cosmetic website and these girls earn all of the retail profit that they make from the website. And it's a free program, so there was no exchange of money. Okay. Uh, the girls, I met with their parents, and it took maybe 15 minutes, and we were able to sign them up. They had their website up and going probably the next day, nice. and customers were on there and, and purchasing Motives Cosmetics. And this is a high-end line. Yeah. Yeah, it's- uh, Kind of new to Southern It never looks so good. It you is. Look, you look, I know, you look you stunning. Know, like, I, amazing. I, I love amazing. it. Yeah. But I want her to come every morning and do it. <laughs> Isn't it so much better when somebody so else says better. it? Yeah. You know, I can just see you transforming before my eyes after that after shot this? that you took. It's amazing. I need more. <laughs> All right. Well, ladies, um, here's what I loved about them. You know, they, they showed up this morning and they, they told Julie and I to sit down. And then the moment we sat down, they're like, okay, close your mouth, open your eyes, you know, sit up straight. Don't, don't look at me, look away. And that's what it takes, I think, to, to be successful in owning your own business. And talk to me a little bit about what this opportunity has meant to you. Um, well, it's given me a lot of opportunities to experience the business world. It's given me a lot of opportunities because I'm only 16 and I kind of have my own business doing this. So that's a great opportunity. Yeah. I'm going to let you introduce yourself and then I'm going to share a little story about you. I'm Megan Dawes. Okay. <laughs> Megan, so she walks in and, and uh, you know, we were panicked because the ladies do makeup, but they're not really accustomed to doing hair. And Megan steps in and says, well, I can do your hair. I happen to own a salon. So that's great. Th thanks to Megan. This this happened. That's good. But then I love what you said to her. You're like, no pressure. I, too, apply makeup. So good luck. <laughs> I mean, that's what this world has become. It's all a competition. Now, there was something about an, an orange that we can show the, the benefits or some changes about some of the other products that we're we're yeah, going to discuss absolutely. here today. Um, these girls are going to do an experiment with okay. um, two of our products. Um, okay. One is going to be our Invisalign, which sort of hides all of those grooves okay. in our skin as you know as we get older, um, and our primer. And then she will do one side of the orange without the Invisalign and our primer. Did her face look this bad this morning? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, okay, good, good, good. You know good. what? At least the orange isn't chewing gum. Yeah, Julie was not a good patient today. <laughs> okay, so the idea is to show that um, the Invisalign, you're, you're not erasing the lines, you're filling them in. You're filling in okay, the lines, exactly. So those, go, those little grooves are not going to show. And I love it because she only used a little bit. Yeah. So a little bit of this goes a long it way. It does. Jamie, come if you're back. looking for a way to get your product out here, in, or the product out in mm -hmm. Southern Illinois, are you looking for more teens? 
We would love more teens. We would love more teens. We would love salons. That would be great. We actually have a motives trainer that's going to be coming from Chicago, and okay. she's looking for a place. Um, we're going to do a custom blend event nice. there. So she's going to bring, and it's it's like a science. You know, they mix all sure. mix it all up, and you can do the custom blend foundation and powder and lips and eyes uh, to specifically match your needs. So you can even put as much SPF in there as you nice. want, mm -hmm. nice. uh, or moisturizer, or even if you have acne, you know, they can put the acne great medicines in there as well. How do they get a hold of of you if they want to be a, a teen Motive, presenter. That motives teen program at gmail.com. Okay. And Say that would again. be motives teen program at gmail.com. Okay. I got it. Yeah. I got it. You or know, a salon. You can no, we can't do it. We're not teens. What? No. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm, I'm a teen at heart. You okay. Are. Yes. <laughs> you know, it just goes to show you that whatever you want, it is available out there. And, and you ladies are obviously seizing the opportunity. So um, what we'll do is we'll have you go ahead and, and make up these gals. And um, later on in the show, obviously, we're going to see what you did. So make it great, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. We'll be right back. Coming up on the spiel. I try to make it to where everybody can understand what's going on. But sometimes it's hard living in the woods and grew up in the woods to relate to people that may not necessarily live in the country. Exactly. I would encourage all of you to pay it forward and let that random act of kindness define us as a nation. You'll know you're in Shawnee Forest Country when the hills rise up to meet you. When the fruit of the land seems to be waiting for you to pick it. Where at the end of every path, you'll find another reason to raise a toast. The Shawnee National Forest is home to miles of unbelievable natural wonders. Adventure, wineries, and unique places to stay. That's how you'll know you're in Shawnee Forest Country. Plan your getaway at southernmostillinois.com. Hey, we're the Holler Boys and you're watching The Spiel. We price online. Most dealers won't do that. I won't be beat. They get a hold of us, want to look at a camper. We give them a video. We give them a write-up. They don't have to be in our showroom to do their homework. But we are 100% a full service deal. Parts, we've got a service van from the customer service department. People are buying these, they're happy. They're going somewhere with the kids, with their grandparents, with their parents. Get a hold of us, tell us what you want to look at, and see what you get from us. It will surprise you. Tri State RV. We supply the how, you supply the happy. Baby's laugh heals the soul. I want to become a neonatal or pediatric nurse. Babies and kids and. I'm attending Three Rivers. It's my hometown and it's it's most convenient for me and it's cheapest for me. It's a really good college here and get most of my prerequisites out of the way for the nursing program at ASU. Three Rivers College. Success starts here. You're watching The Spiel. The Spiel presents You're On. 100% original new music. Hey, we are the Holler Boys, and this is our song called Dip. Summertime sunshine, fishing light moonshine, gonna have a good time. School can't fit my lip, pop a top, take a sip, girl, let's drop our clothes. And dip, or grab a cocaine and sip. Oh, baby, let's shake our hips, girl. We got all night, so let's take our time. And dip, let me lay it on your lips. A sweet little moonlight kiss, girl. We got all night, so let's take our time. And dip, yeah. Oh, come on, let's dip. River bank truck stuck, sun down, bottoms up, baby, we got all night. Let's cuddle up, tangle up, make a little sweet love. Hit the water one more time and dip. We'll grab a cold can and sip. Oh, baby, let's shake our hips, girl. We got all night, so let's take our time. And dip. And let me lay it on your lips. A sweet little moonlight kiss, girl. We got all night, so let's take our time. And dip, yeah. 
Come on, let's deal. My hands, your hips, my lips, your lips, baby, let's take a deal. My hands, your hips, my lips, your lips, baby, let's take a Grab a cocaine and sip Baby, let's shake our hips Girl, we got all night So let's take a time And dip Grab a cocaine and sip Baby, let's shake our hips Girl, we got all night So let's take a time And dip, yeah Come on, let's dip Summertime, sunshine, fishing line, moonshine, gonna have a good time. Skull can't feel my lip, pop a top, take a sip, girl, let's drop our clothes in deep. It's a lot bigger campus than I thought, and the class sizes are a lot smaller than I expected. But getting here and seeing all the people here, it well passed my expectations. They should choose Three Rivers because they're really good teachers. My dream job is to work for like a seed company or be like a CEO, that'd be really nice. You can do it and we can help. Three Rivers College, success starts here. I need to find a doctor fast. Why don't you go to Christopher Rural Health? They have 11 clinics. What do they do? They took my state insurance and I wasn't put on a long waiting list. We didn't have insurance and they saw my kids and me. Now we're all covered. They hooked me up close to home and got me a ride too. Even if you can't pay, they don't turn you away. Do you have their number? Sure. 1-800-408-7351. Visit us at crhpc.org. You're watching The Spiel. The Holler Boys, you're on. No, you feel? didn't say it right. Holla, Holla, Holla Boys. <laughs> As, well, I'm, uh, I'm already upset with these these gentlemen right here. Yeah. What was that hoax? Why do you stoop to such levels, Julie? And I, I know you brought them into your little web. No, I didn't. I, yeah. I was standing over there. I went, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's right. We'll just name. we'll just argue among ourselves. But hey, there's okay, there's two sitting here. Mm -hmm. yep. But I believe there are more of yeah, you. Yeah, there's four of us all together. Okay, yeah. go ahead and introduce the the mates. We have uh, got Adam. Okay. And Junior. Junior wants to say something. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. He goes, I don't want to talk. Who's the other guys? Uh, my dad is a bass player. His name's Larry. Nice. And then our drummer we grew up with, his name's Seth. Nice. Nice. Well, you guys have the look going. You've got the sound going. I mean, how's it going for you out there? It's going uh, good. we got a lot going on. We'll have a CD coming out really soon. So. Who's the main songwriter? You. Me. You? Yeah. Awesome. What do yeah. you do when you're not songwriting? I'm a school teacher. Oh, yep. are you? Oh, yep. that's great. What do you teach? Uh, special ed and science. Nice. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Junior, you? Uh, my family owns music, so I remember our music. And oh, yeah. Girls, yep. So I'm, I'm, the, I'm the tech guy, I guess. Oh, be darn. Yeah. Okay. Listen, you guys have this, this tool, social media, that you can use to your advantage. And I see that on your pages and stuff, you guys are, are pretty active. Tell me how that's kind of played out for you, and do you see it being a little bit of an advantage, you know, from days past, the way people were able to do things? Yeah, I think, I think it's an advantage because we, we try to uh, make videos to let people know what we're doing every day. Like, hey, and we, we uh, won a radio competition recently from voting online, and we get to open it for Low Cash and Colt Ford. And I think we just so happened to be doing videos and building up and getting kind of a following, and I think that helped us win. I nice. saw your picture on TV. In the commercial. Yeah. Oh, really? In the yeah. commercial. Look at him. He said, that is awesome. Yeah. He does have a Junior, lot guess what? Besides talking on the spiel, your picture's going to. That's too. right. I mean, the <laughs> spiel is, is big. It's you big know, stuff. It's, it's usually the, it, it could be the pinnacle for a lot, you know, a lot of people, because it's tough to go on from here. Really. Just remember our faces, because you're all going to go big. Right? Hey, we will. We will. So when you're writing, um, you know, do you want to connect to everybody in the audience, or are you just wanting to write about things that might be relatable to some? Uh, I try to make it to where everybody can understand what's going on, 
but sometimes it's hard living in the woods and grew up in the woods to relate to people that may not necessarily live in the country. Exactly. But for country folks, I guess you could say a lot of the songs that we have are hunting terms or different things. But this is this is really cool. They told me off mic while ago. What did they used to call the area you're from? Oh, it was you be damn holler. You be damn holler. Yeah. Did you just say ugly word? I did. You did. No, it's actually so E-U-B-Y-D-A-M. Because okay. so it was no. a guy that dammed up the holler and he logged it out, so they called That's it U-B-Dam holler. That's it. But My we grew up Pentecostal, yes. so they changed it to Happy Hollow or Fair City Road. Because <laughs> so, people are like, yeah. <laughs> you know what? It does sound better, Happy yeah, Hollow. Happy Hollow. There yeah. you go. Well, you know what? It's a great sound. I Thank think you. it's a sound that people are wanna, gonna, gonna want to listen to. And um, congratulations. Thank you, thank and you. And you were a great spokesperson. <laughs> thank you. I was like, oh my Wait, gosh, hurry. One more thing real quick. We ask each artist that comes on if they can just real quick do a little ditty and something about the spiel. Yeah, Make up so a little, like, like, I hope you've written one in little your head, jingle. like a song. I mean, like it's on already. the spot. Mom, give it to us. Yeah. Uh. Very good. <laughs> the Hollow Boys. Very, hey. We brought you t-shirts. You did? Oh, yes, we did. If you brought gifts, you can we stay did. longer. Hey. <laughs> you can do seven songs. Look at that. Here you go. The, we have three colors, there but these are our pink ones. These are our breast cancer awareness shirts. Oh. And you, I heard you give money. Yeah. Well, we, when we sell them all, we are going to donate. We got 100 shirts, so we sold them for $20. We took half to pay for them. The other half, we're going to split up and give $500 to one person and $500 to another for, to help with around here locally with breast that's cancer. That's awesome. That is, is this like Thank your you. logo with the... Yeah, that's our logo, yeah. I feel so much cooler now. Just by oh, wearing, I'm going to look so you cool. You know what? They're going to be so jealous. They are. People, yeah. we're going to walk around these and go, We're going you know to the, the concerts homeboys? and go, you probably don't have one of these. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it helps to know. You know, people. we could say, we know them. Yeah. That's right. Well, good luck, guys. Yeah. Thank I mean, you very much. Fantastic talent. Thanks for we having us. We appreciate you coming on, and we'll be right back. We love making new friends. Visit us online at facebook.com forward slash spiel on. It doesn't have to cost a thing to do a random act of kindness. These are for you, Mama. <laughs> so divided in this country right now, and it needs to stop. This eye for an eye leaves everyone blind. Love one another and let that define us as a nation. Farmer State Bank, no one serves you better. My dad came here in the early 50s and started. My name is John Smith. My brother Terry and I have Smith Dairy Farm. And we're producers of milk for Prairie Farms Dairy. And we're outside at 4.30 in the morning. Cows need fed 365 days a year and you learn the mannerisms of each animal. You learn who they are. Prairie Farms, they depend on us to be finished milking at a time when the truck's going to come to get the milk. We're all one big team. Proudly farmer owned. It's part of what we've been raised to do. Prairie Farms. You're watching The Spiel. And that was an incredible show. It was a good show. It started out kind of rough. It started out stinky. With the phone. It but anyway, stinky. it just kept going up. You can get over anything. Out. I mean, you know what? Just tune in to us. Or you could do, you know, we're online. Spielon.com. Whenever you're down, just watch like a marathon of The Spiel. We'll, we'll pull you out of it. Or, no pun intended. <laughs> or if you find yourself dropping yours in a, a porta potty, potty, and you get it out and retrieve it, and got it to work. Call let us. Let, let us know. know how you do it. Let, let us know. Send, Send us, us a, a picture. picture. It'll be great. It'll be fun. Yeah. Speaking of pictures, that brings me right into oh this. Oh my Jason. gosh! Can we zoom in on this right this here? This is ridiculous. What I mean, this is funny, but ridiculous. It's uh, a bathing suit on a female. Yeah. But the bathing suit is a male body. Right. 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 Like the the hairy chest, the belly button. You know the. And what? What? Keep talking. Yeah. I don't think it has that it, on it, does honey, it? Look, they it's put, not on it. It's just kind of like it's hidden. Yeah, but it's got that wow. droppage. It's got the droppage that's, going. That's a lot. Is this is this appropriate for a family show? Okay, it is. It is. Who um, said yes? Rob Stace? gave the thumbs up. Yeah, he says it's oh, good. Oh, it's Rob. Too. Okay. It is Rob. 
Rob is the model for this bathing well, suit. Well, I guess what you would say about that is what? You'll do anything for a laugh? The no. Transgender? I want to meet the, the lady, the girl, the woman, the, not the child, please no. But um, the person that would wear this to the beach. I it, think you would do it and love it. You would laugh your tail off. You would do it I just to play a joke. You know what? I couldn't even do that. I do a lot of things, but I couldn't do that. You wouldn't do it? No. I couldn't. I think I would do it. I couldn't do it. I would do it. But I have another little story. Uh-oh. Is this yeah. a good one? It's funny. It was really funny at the time. Okay. It's funny now, but it was really funny I when understand. it happened. Okay. The hippie chef and I and our children went into a wig shop. A where? Wig shop. A wig shop. Okay. Because my hair. I love wigs. I do. It's, it's kind of it's kind of thinning since I'm number one getting older. Number two, I got some female stuff taken oh, care yeah, of. Oh yeah, she does. Yeah, she does. And it's just kind of kind of thinning. Okay, and. Uh, the healthy hippie chef, her hair is real fine, I'll say. So we decided we would go get us wigs. Those are expensive. Well, we found a place that wasn't okay, expensive. Okay, that wasn't expensive. Okay, good. And on the little styrofoam head, yes. it looks hot. Oh, yeah. I mean, I got me a, a long, curly... Blonde? No, it's me. It's, oh, it's my you. color. Okay. okay. And I put on that wig, and I thought... My daughter and Stacy's daughter would fall out. They're gonna laugh. They're gonna laugh. It hurt my feelings because I thought I was hot. I think I have a picture. Oh, you do. If you have a picture, you have. Here's the problem. When, I you put the wigs, <laughs> when you're putting the wigs on at the wig I store, do. you know, and you lean over and you do this and you come up, chances are it's down here. Like, you know, your hair starts here. So that's gonna look a little weird. Right? I think I, that, that was probably it. I think I look hot in it. Yeah. My daughter. You uh, did not get in a fight with a lady at the. We laughed. And the foreign lady come to us and said, oh, you must be careful with the wig. Oh, yeah. They're very serious in wig shops. They don't, don't want you to play. They, I wasn't everyone playing. Everyone goes in a certain place. I and, bought. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, so we're going to teach you wig shop etiquette to boot. Like, I Don't go in there thinking on. you can just grab this one, this one, this one, this one, because they will yell at you. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Didn't I look good? That's a lot, dude. I, I think it's the part. I, I thought I looked hot. I, I think it's the part. You got an audience all the way around. Go oh. with it. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's Derek? A little, that's a lot. Uh, yeah. Oh, you look at him. His mouth yeah. just drops open. Like now, here's, that was big. here's Stacy. A, oh, Stacy. <laughs> Stacy <laughs> looks like Farrah Fawcett. That's perfect. Stacy's was a little kind of crazy. Farrah Fawcett. That's good. That's good. That's a good look. And um, so now. No, that's it's, good. It's still in my And car. you both bought them because you're wearing them in a vehicle. Stacy. Yes, we did. Yes, you did. You no, them. we went outside. We said, can we take pictures no, of these in our car? No, the lady car? said, absolutely not. No. <laughs> but anyway, that, that's the PSA for the closing of the show today. Do not go into a wig shop and laugh. Don't <laughs> laugh. You can't laugh. Do not laugh. Do so not So we laugh. have sort of a buyer beware. Not funny. Shopper Put it on, like it, love it, wig buy it, go person. All right, what's your word? You know what? You guys could send us words as well. If, if we're not meeting, you know, your expectations. I mean, obviously, we're giving you words you'll never use. So loquacious. if you want to email Stacy at spielon.com. And loquacious. We're loquacious. Ready? I'm doing the Angie thing. I you forgot. Did. You already did it. Loquacious. Very good. Loquacious. All right, what does it mean? And, and say it. What? Sometimes you get loquacious. A lot of times you get loquacious. Brave that I went into. Is it brave? Full of excessive talking. Oh, <laughs> full of excessive talking. That is you, the kettle call. What is the black calling the kettle or the kettle calling the black back or what was it? Back back. The, the kettle, back flat. The, the black. What is it? The, the, that's the pot calling the kettle black. And you know what? Perfect, I knew I had left something out. Perfect example. What? In our kitchen segment today, I couldn't. I couldn't you stop. You told me I, that I could do stop. some of it. I did, but anyway, that's okay. It. Okay, just excessive talking. Yeah, that's the show. It could be the sh the, the loquacious spiel. Okay, ready? Yeah. Are you Please guys don't doing take selfies? selfies while are you we're gonna... trying to do a show? These are cameramen. I mean, we're the show here. And they didn't even get us in the shot. They're like, hey, dude, watch. Okay. Okay, right. ready? Yeah. La. Way. Just. Stop. See, I'm See, totally did it again. over yes. talking right there. I totally got you. All right, one more time. I'll be fair. Yeah. Loquacious. Loquacious. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Girl, I think I know you. I 
think you know me We've been staring all night We both like what we see Girl, I know what I'm feeling I hope you're feeling it too I don't want to go home Unless I'm going with you I might just stay for one more drink For one more kiss, girl, what do you think? If I stay for one more dance One more chance with you